in order to improve your game, you've got to always bring your best. Presented by the new Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. And taking a little look at a golf swing here from Quinn. And this is a really good golf swing with just a little bit of attention and understanding what's going on. Quinn, you're going to get a whole lot better. Now, setup position is really good. I want you to pay attention to one thing in particular. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to blow this up just a little bit so that you get an idea of this. This is the grip. Watch what Quinn is doing, and this is very common, right before she starts to, to move the club. Pay attention to, pay attention to this area right here, her grip right there, okay? I'm going to erase that. Now watch this. She starts into her motion, and now her hand, see that difference? See, see how her hands drop down? She repositions her hand right there. Now what happens from there is the following. She takes the club back, and to get some strength, she kind of rotates uh, the, the forearm, but the wrist gets into a cupped position at the top. So what we have is we have a, a wrist position here that's rather cupped right there. Even though the club face is in a strong position, the wrist is in a weak position. And then from here, this is what Quinn does. She does a really good job getting the club back. Pay attention to what's happening with this lead shoulder right here because this is really the culprit it's kind of it's dropping and not rotating out of the way so right here the arms are working the body hasn't really worked at all we haven't really had any rotation and now trying to time it up there's sort of a launch that's coming out of it the club is in a position where it it just doesn't have it doesn't have the depth that it needs to have in order for that club to really get underneath and and hit a draw she's on top of it Arms are doing this. There's no body going that way, leading the downswing. The arms don't fall the way they should. And all of a sudden, we get a shot where even though she's trying to recover it, that ball is starting way out to the push side and then curving to the push side. Now, here's what has to happen. First things first. First, and this is applicable for all of you, not just Quinn, but all of you. When you get your hands on the club, you need to make sure that they don't change throughout the motion. So what I like to do with my players is hold the club up in front of you, make sure that you feel that pressure from the, the heel pad of the lead hand, and then make sure you feel the heel pad of the trail hand on the thumb of the lead hand. That's really where you're going to create your pressure points, in my opinion. Once you have that, now, whatever you do, those pressure points aren't leaving. They're not changing. As long as you keep those two pressure points the same, you're going to be fine. The heel pad on the grip and the heel pad on the thumb of the uh, lead hand. Then what we're going to get is we're going to get a fairly stable face as we come through this. Now, from here, what we want to try to do is get this ball to start at our target or slightly left of the target for Quinn. And a common thing for us is when we start to bring this club down, we start to move our arms and our body is kind of responding to the arms. So that swing would be, and then the body chases out. I want the body to lead the arms. I want you to feel like you're back here and all this is staying here and then you're just carrying it through. And that will get the golf club into the position that you want for you to be able to maximize your, your uh, club head speed, but also be able to control the, the club face. So what I want to have happen is this. I want this lead shoulder, lead hip to feel like they are going to start down first. And they're not going to drive down to the ground like this. They're going to rotate open like this, okay? So all we're going to do is we're going to take the club back, feel those two things move, and then slap into that ball. Now, when I slapped into that one, I started that, that ball about a degree and a half to the left of target. Exactly what I want to do. If I want to create a draw, now instead of them going down this way, we're going to go forward and then rotate. So if I go forward from there, here, forward, and then rotate, now the club will drop down. And I'll start that out to the right by about a degree. So depending upon the shot shape that you're trying to hit, you have to understand how the lead shoulder and the lead hip are going to predict 
this path coming down. If I want that club to get out in front, I'm gonna get both of those to be going back behind me, starting that way. If I want to get draw a club underneath, now I'm gonna let a little slide happen and then I'm gonna rotate. And that little set, that difference in, in what you're doing with the shoulders changes the angle of the spine. So when my spine, if I wanna get into a draw, I need to be in this sort of position. And when I wanna get into a fade, I need to be in this sort of position. It won't look like that, but it'll feel like that. So, Quinn, what I'm suggesting for you is I wanna get that club to get more in front and down with some body rotation so we can start this ball on the line that we want instead of starting it out to the right. And so right there, what you can see is that golf ball started on the line that I wanted. In fact, it started just about a degree to the left of, of target down the line that I want. And in order for you to improve, that's what you've got to do. That's always bring your best. Presented by Titleist, the all-new Pro V1 and Pro V1 app. Continuing to look at your golf swings, make sure you send those to me at a new breed of golf at michaelbreed.com and shoot them in the horizontal with the phone in the horizontal. Don't hold it in the vertical. You probably aren't going to get on the show. All right, it's time for a grip tip presented by Golf Pride. So we come over here, we take a little look at what's going on with Kieran. This is a pretty good golf swing. I know you're only just seeing half of it. I get it. He's just showing you this motion. It's a good motion. And what I would tell you is, I love the fact that you've got this in the horizontal. Look, let's try to make sure we can see all the things that are going on here. It's gonna make it a little bit easier for you. There's one thing I can see that's going on that I know that's gonna help you, okay? So let me go back to the address position. We put a little line right here on, on the spine. Now watch what happens when you get into impact. You see how back you are here? Now, at the top of your swing, you get the club exactly where we want. This is an excellent position that you've got the club in. I would love to see this lead arm just a little bit higher. That would be my preference. You can play from there. My preference would be getting that arm a little bit higher, okay? I don't ever want to see, I don't want to see the arm underneath the shoulder line. It's just, it's just, it, it's, not, it's not what I like to see. It's not good. I don't like that position. In fact, I, I don't see a lot of really good players play there. Matt Kuchar plays there, but he's a pretty tall guy. He's 6'4-ish, so he gets away with it. Doesn't maximize his power. He does hit the ball very, very straight, and it's a good motion. I'm not beating up Cooch. I'm just telling you, my preference wouldn't be there. I like to see that arm run across the shoulder line, okay? But here's what I do want to see. When this golf club starts to go down, look at how you're bellying out underneath it, and now when you get into the strike, now all of a sudden that spine is there. And what we want to do, what we see with great players is, is that the body tends to drop down a little bit coming through that strike there, okay? So I want you to feel like this. When you're coming down, I want you to feel your chest almost dropping down like you're bowing to the ball. And when you start to do that, now you're going to be able to take the club and compress it. So instead of doing this where you're standing up and the club drops underneath, which opens up the club face, it can open up the club face when you're doing that. And then we have to flip the face of the club to recover this path that's going out to the push side and a little bit more of an open face. What I want you to do is I want you to feel like you're bowing to that ball. So we're going to come in here, make this backswing and then bow to the ball here. So you're going to feel like your hips are going way back, chest dropping down. Now you can press down to the ball that way. Okay. So here, down on top of it just like that. And now you get the strike that you're looking for. Good balanced position there. Very, very comfortable follow through. And when you make the golf swing, what we should see is your ability to stay in position until that ball lands, okay? So we get in here and we make this motion. I bow down to the ball and I hit it. I'm gonna be able to hold my finish position until that golf ball lands. And you can see now, no problem holding the position, getting to that spot. Once you've done that a couple of times and you've moved at a, what I would call a manageable speed, now you can start to, to pick up pace and really get into it. Really feel that chest dropping down, really generating a lot of speed on this. See if we can now get one to really fly. Again, good balance position there. 
excellent speed. That ball speed's at 117 and a half, and the distance gets out to about 185. You wanna be able to create the right motion. You've gotta be able to compress your thighs with your chest, bowing down to that ball. When you start to do that, you're gonna get some hip depth that's gonna allow those arms to get in front of you. You'll compress the ball, get that great distance, and that's a grip tip presented by Golf Pride. We're all wanting to improve our swing. That's what we do, that's why we love this game, the pursuit of better. Keep getting those videos to me. Make sure you hold that camera in the horizontal fashion when you send those videos. Just send them to me at a new breed of golf at michaelbreed.com. All right, it's time for an FJ fix, and we're gonna take a little look at Greg's motion right here. And Greg's motion, good setup position, clearly a guy that plays a lot of golf. Watch this motion. Really nice fluid motion. This is probably a player that at some point was, I'm, I'm gonna say a single digit handicap. However, I want you to just pay attention to a couple of things here. I'm gonna blow this up, because this is important. We're gonna first look at what the cause of the situation is, but we also have to look at the impact. So here's the golf club coming down into the ball. Here's where the T is. This is on a T right here too, okay? Now, there's the T. Here's the strike. So what you can see is that, that club hits the ground before the ball, okay? Now, why did it do that? All right, well, let's back this out a little bit. Drop this down into here. Set that up right there. Okay, now let's go back to here. And let me draw some lines. Because this is, this is a problem that everybody has. So we've got a position set up here where we're going to look at what's going on with hip depth, then we're gonna look at what's going on with weight distribution and how your face falls to the golf ball. And when you start to see this, you're gonna realize, wow, that's the reason why he's hitting it fat. Club goes back, this is pretty good position, right to about here. Then things start to get a little bit, we're standing up, so we come out of posture here. We don't really have any heel weight. The, the trail heel isn't getting any weight. Now we start to fall to the ball, and now we start falling and falling and falling and falling and falling and falling. And now look at what happens here. Now we're out on our toe or toes, and now we keep going, and look at all that weight go forward. Now, that's in the slow motion. Now what I want you to see is I want you to see how it happens in the fast motion. And what I want you to pay attention to is this body of water, this little pond, right back here, which you can't see it right here, this area here, watch how all of a sudden it shows up. Look at how much of that in there. You see that? You'll never see that with great ball strikers. You see hip depth with great ball strikers. That weight gets chucked out to the toes. So you start to see the left heel lifting up into the air as he comes through. There's no push away from the ball. There's a fall down to the ball. And that's why all of a sudden that is trouble. So how do we get better at this? Well, the first thing that we gotta do is we gotta feel like when we're coming through that this lead arm is gonna be pulling back. So all this is gonna pull back. So I want you to just feel like you're pulling back here with this arm and hand and shoulder, it's all gonna go this way. So you come into this shot and you pull back. Pull back. Pull this this way. And when you start to pull that that way, all of a sudden now your body's gonna throw some, some uh, weight into the heels. So when you go into a down the line shot, now what you're gonna see is you're gonna feel the, the weight going back this way. Instead of being out on the toes like this, now you're gonna feel the weight back like that. And so as we start to get into this and we start to feel this pull back this way, watch what happens here. Now all of a sudden, the club shallows through the shot. It doesn't dig down into the shot. It shallows through the shot because the lead shoulder and the lead hand are almost 
it's almost like you're pulling something out of the ground. I want, to get, I want you to get the image that you're pulling something out of the ground. So we're going to pull the grip out of the ground. That image of this pulling out of the ground, now all of a sudden, we're going to be able to strike this ball first, not ground then ball. So a little practice swing. And you're pulling, that lead shoulder is going to be going back and away. The lead hand is going back and away. Everything's going back and away. Right here. Oh, this was a good strike as well. And I could feel that on the bottom of the club. I've got it on those lower grooves. I'm not hitting it high in the face. And when you start to do that, that's when you really start to be able to strike the ball properly. Feel that lead shoulder going back. Feel that lead hand pulling that out of the ground. Like you're literally lifting that, that club right out of the ground. You won't top it. You won't thin it. What you also won't do is you're not going to hit it fat. You'll get ball first contact, improving that ball strike, and lowering the scores. And that is an FJ fit. <laughs> improving your game, well, it comes in a lot of different forms. We all make practice swings, and we all work on our swings. It's time for a transformational tip presented by Morgan Franklin. Now, over here, we've got Adam setting up in his backyard making a golf swing. And as we make this golf swing, what you're going to notice that Adam's doing is he's making a swing without any tee or any target. And I don't mean a target to hit the ball to. I mean a target to swing towards. So let me go back. Here's Adam here going, coming into the shot. And what you're going to see from Adam is it's random doesn't put a T down, doesn't put anything down there. What I can tell you is, is that when you go to, to, to make a practice swing, you should always have a T, particularly if you're sending it in to somebody to look at, like Adam sending it to me. Now watch what happens. So here's Adam working on a dress position, sets the club down. It's a really good motion. And he's trying to figure out, okay, like, what am I doing? What, what do I do here? Well, maybe Breed can help. So pretty good motion there. Now, now what he's doing is he's going to do this other, other motion. He's going to turn to us. So you can see what's happening now is, is that he's altering alignment just to give us an idea of, hey, what's going on here? He's not asking us to look at what's happening in his rear. What he's asking us to do is figure out what's going on with his golf swing. So I'm going to save you that and have you not look at that, but more look at this. So as he starts to bring this club down, what I want you to pay attention to is, as he's right in here, look at how wide open that club face is. Now, one of the things that happens to us is as we start thinking about lagging the club or working on whatever we're working on, we forget about this thing called the face. This is the most important part of a golf swing. Control the face. And when you start thinking about making practice swings, you should always be working on controlling the club face. So, as as underneath he, as he is here with the arm and as not rotated as he is, that club is in a position where, look at how open that club face is at that particular point. Let's blow that up for you. Look at how open that club face is. And this appears like this is a pretty good delivery position. And as we start looking at something, go, oh yeah, that would be pretty. No, that practice swing right there is gonna produce a shot that starts to the right and curves even farther to the right. You start taking practice swings. What I want you to do is I want you to have an understanding of what's going on with the face. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get this alignment stick right here. You take the alignment stick, you put it down onto the ground just like this, okay? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to set up so that the face is always square to that stick. And then when you swing down, I want you to stop and see where the face is. So that face is wide open there. That face is not wide open. So when I get this face in here, what did I do differently from there to there? Well, my lead arm, when I, when I square it, is closer to me. So when I start coming into this, I wanna feel my lead arm coming down so that it's closer to me. So now I bring a ball in here, not in the backyard, but maybe you're on a, a practice tee now, and those practice swings that you've made have been beneficial for you. So now what you're saying is, okay, now I wanna feel that lead arm kind of getting in here instead of staying above my trail arm 
Now we go like this, and this ball should start left. And there it does. It goes right down the line exactly where I wanted it to, to go because I worked on something that was beneficial. When you're taking practice swings, you've got to make sure that you think about the club face. It's the most important thing you can do. You want to fix your game. You want to transform your game. You've got to make sure you have an idea of what's going on with the club face. Get yourself an alignment stick when you're making those practice swings. Maybe even put a tee in the ground at some times and swing to the tee, but always have an idea of where the club face is. And when you start to do that, you'll start to transform your game. And that's our transformational tip presented by Morgan Franklin.